You know, a lot of people still dislike the Tesla Semi. They think battery trucks are silly and that the limited number produced so far proves Tesla is stuck with it. But the real story is completely different. The Tesla Semi is one of the fastest, sleekest, and most aerodynamic electric trucks ever made. And guess what? Tesla is not finished with it yet. The new version is becoming even smoother with a lower drag coefficient and improvements that bring it closer to full-scale mass production next year. Honestly, the Semi has been flying under the radar for quite some time. Almost 10 years have passed since its first reveal, and only a handful have been built. But that is about to change. The production line is finally completed, and starting next year, everyone, not just the big logistics corporations, will be able to order one. Even better, the cost is dropping. Dan Priestley, Tesla's lead engineer for the Semi project, recently explained that several smart design tweaks are helping lower production costs. Imagine assembling a huge electric semi truck in just minutes instead of months. Sounds impossible, right? Not for Tesla. Their new assembly line at the latest Gigafactory is designed exactly for that, paving the way for millions of semis to roll out. By the way, before we dive deeper, welcome to Amp Drive, your home for everything Tesla, robotics, and future technology. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe now and join the Amp Drive family. Trust me, you don't want to miss what's coming next. You know, Elon Musk himself once said, I think ultimately we will make over a million, probably millions of the Tesla Semi. And this will really be something you will see everywhere. He also added that the truck will one day be fully autonomous or at least capable of driving itself down the road. So, how exactly is Tesla making this giant both faster and cheaper? And what is so revolutionary about this new production method? Let's dig into that. Among all of Tesla's electric vehicles, when it comes to bending the rules of physics, none compare to the Tesla Semi. Normally, a tractor trailer weighing up to 80,000 pounds would perform terribly. That is why electric trucks have faced so much skepticism in the transport industry. Even Bill Gates once said that, despite big advances in battery technology, electric trucks were unlikely to be practical for heavy duty vehicles like 18 wheelers, cargo ships, or airplanes. He argued batteries were too bulky and heavy to handle such long distances. But Elon Musk was quick to respond, bluntly saying that Gates knew nothing about electric trucks. And to prove it, Tesla built something more than just a battery powered truck. Musk wanted a big rig that could completely transform the freight industry. A truck powerful enough to convince drivers to stay in the business rather than quit during the ongoing driver shortage in the United States. For the first time ever, an electric truck can travel 800 miles and save 1 million gallons of diesel fuel, which equals about $3.5 million in savings. That is why Musk always calls the semi a money machine. Of course, the truck was stuck in limbo for years, from 2017 until now, because of many factors. But the great news is that full-scale production is finally ramping up, with around 10,000 units expected by the end of this year and up to 50,000 next year. The new Giga Semi plant is more than capable of reaching those numbers. According to Tesla's Master Plan Part 3, the long-range semi with its 800 kWh battery currently uses high nickel cells, most likely the NMC type, to achieve that range. The shorter-range version, known as the semi Lite, uses LFP cells instead. But here comes the real game-changer, Tesla plans to power future semi-trucks using its most advanced battery yet, the high-voltage 4680 cell. This battery is a true powerhouse, offering up to 300 watt-hours per kilogram of energy density while cutting production costs thanks to its structural design. Even though Dan Priestley confirmed that the next-generation semi will have a smaller battery pack, that does not mean a loss in performance or distance. The truck maintains its impressive range, now boosted by a 7% efficiency gain due to improved aerodynamics mentioned earlier. A smaller and more affordable pack also means less weight and lower running costs. It's a win-win for Tesla and its customers. It has long been expected that Tesla would shift the semi to the 4680 battery, and it just makes perfect sense. 
Why reserve Tesla's most advanced battery for the Cybertruck alone? The 4680 cell delivers excellent power, efficiency, and cost control, exactly what a Class 8 truck requires. Plus, since Tesla is producing these cells right at the Nevada Gigafactory, the process of building and integrating battery packs for the semi becomes faster, simpler, and more efficient than ever before. Speaking of design, Dan Priestley also mentioned several physical updates, including new side mirrors for better visibility and even smoother aerodynamics. Currently, Tesla Semi prototypes use traditional side mirrors, but each one houses three cameras that work together with an in-cabin display system. This provides drivers with a full 360-degree view and eliminates blind spots while meeting United States safety rules. Now, Tesla might take this even further for the next version. The Gen 2 mirrors could be smaller, sleeker, and packed with more advanced camera technology, making the truck even more aerodynamic while still enhancing visibility. Personally, we hope Tesla keeps at least some kind of physical mirror because they still make sense for a vehicle of this size. What do you think? Drop your opinion in the comments. One confirmed new feature is something called drop glass. If you are wondering what that is, imagine this. Since the driver's seat in the Tesla Semi is positioned right in the middle, interacting with things like toll booths or security gates can be awkward. The new drop glass, likely a lowerable side window, fixes this problem by allowing drivers to communicate or pass documents easily without opening the entire cabin door. It is a small but smart improvement that makes real-world trucking a lot easier. Now let's take a second to understand just how huge 50,000 units per year really is. That is about 135 trucks a day, over 5 per hour, or roughly one Tesla semi completed every 10 to 15 minutes. But knowing Tesla, they will probably push it even faster. Just look at the Model Y. Its production speed increased dramatically within one year, now building a car every 33 seconds. If Tesla continues to refine their process, finishing one semi every 5 minutes might soon be reality. Heavy-duty trucks like the Semi need far more manual work than normal passenger cars due to their sheer size and complexity, making full automation more difficult. And because the annual demand for Class 8 trucks is much lower than passenger cars, usually just a few hundred thousand units, it is not as cost-effective to fully automate everything. Also, many of these trucks are customized for specific companies with unique configurations for suspension, axles, and transmission systems. That means flexible assembly is still necessary. However, processes like frame welding and painting have already been automated for accuracy and speed. So reaching mass production of the semi is a massive achievement both for Tesla and for the customers waiting for their vehicles. Elon Musk once said, it looks like an elephant moving like a cheetah, and that could not be more true. The semi's massive size hides its incredible performance. It uses only 1.7 kWh per mile, which major customers like PepsiCo, Walmart, and DHL have verified in real-world testing. In California, that equals about 30 cents of electricity per mile. Meanwhile, a diesel truck burns about one gallon of fuel for every six and a half miles, costing roughly $3.51 at current prices. It may seem like a small difference, but when multiplied by hundreds of thousands of miles, the savings are enormous. Tesla Semi's official page even reported that the fleet has already saved over 1 million gallons of diesel, worth around $3.5 million. No wonder small and large transport companies alike are rushing to get one. Another exciting development is Tesla's plan to add a sleeper cab to the Semi. This is not just a rumor anymore, it is really happening. Dan Priestley mentioned it himself last year. He explained that future semis will feature a sleeping area, giving drivers a comfortable place to rest during long-haul trips. This could be one of the most important updates for long-distance trucking. Fatigue is one of the main causes of road accidents among truck drivers, and the lack of proper rest areas inside the cabin has always been an issue. The current prototype does not have a sleeper section yet, but the cabin design leaves enough space to add one easily. Whether Tesla extends the cabin or rearranges the existing interior remains to be seen, but the idea is definitely in motion. 
And of course, we cannot talk about the semi without mentioning its future with full self-driving. Elon Musk has confirmed that autonomous driving capability will soon be integrated into the truck, expected around late 2025, right when mass production ramps up. This is not just a cool tech feature, it's a direct answer to America's truck driver shortage. With self-driving systems handling long highway routes, stress and fatigue will drop dramatically, and delivery schedules will be more efficient. Musk often points out that there are more drivers leaving trucking than entering it, creating a major logistics issue. Autonomy, he believes, is key to solving that. When full self-driving becomes part of the Tesla Semi, it will mark the beginning of a completely new era in transportation. Imagine heavy-duty trucks, the largest vehicles on the road, driving themselves across hundreds of miles with precision. Drivers will still need to monitor and intervene occasionally, but their workload and stress levels will be greatly reduced, making operations safer and smoother. Long-haul truck driving has always been a tough job, endless hours, constant engine noise, and little rest. Tesla is not building this technology as a luxury but as a necessary tool to improve the quality of life for drivers everywhere. Beyond that, the environmental benefit is massive. Even though heavy trucks make up just about 1% of vehicles in the United States, they produce roughly 18% of transportation emissions. Saving 1 million gallons of diesel equals cutting 22,400 tons of carbon dioxide emissions. The semi's aerodynamic drag coefficient of 0.4, compared to the typical 0.8 of traditional trucks, increases energy efficiency and reduces charging needs. Still, there are challenges ahead. Tesla's mega charger network is currently limited to a few key locations like the Nevada Gigafactory and PepsiCo's Modesto facility. To make the semi practical for every trucking route, Tesla will need to expand this network across highways. Political and financial obstacles, including limited government funding, have slowed the rollout, but Tesla's determination usually finds a way. For years, critics laughed at the idea of the Tesla Semi, calling it a fantasy. When it was first revealed in 2017, many said it would never happen. They mocked the claim that it could haul 80,000 pounds, go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 20 seconds, and drive 500 miles on a charge. But now, nearly a decade later, Tesla is about to make that dream real. The new Gigafactory expansion, costing $3.6 billion and adding 4 million square feet, is specifically built to bring the semi into large-scale production. The new facility even includes an on-site battery manufacturing unit, meaning no more delays shipping batteries from other plants. With this setup, Tesla can complete one fully built semi every 10 minutes. That equals over 135 trucks per day, pushing toward 50,000 per year. It sounds unbelievable, building a heavy electric truck in 10 minutes, but somehow, Tesla makes it happen. With a starting price of $250,000, the semi might seem expensive, but the long-term fuel and maintenance savings make it a very smart investment for transport companies. Following successful test runs, Tesla has confirmed that the new semi-factory will be operating at full speed by the end of this year, and anyone will soon be able to purchase one with custom configurations. Once mocked and doubted, the Tesla Semi has now reached its defining moment. It is set to transform freight transport in the United States and beyond. And just think about the irony, how strange would it be for an electric vehicle company to rely on diesel trucks to deliver its electric cars? That contradiction is exactly what Tesla set out to eliminate. The semi is not just another truck. It is the future of logistics, sustainability, and performance, proving once again that Tesla always does the impossible.